Welcome to Wisdom of Gaia, everyone. Today we're going to have to do this a little differently because I've already packed everything so I can go home. And um, so this is all I've got, <laughs> okay? So I literally only have one tarot deck at my disposal. <clears throat> and I haven't got anything that I can support my phone on right now. So let's go for it as it is and see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I've already shuffled the deck, by the way. I've had to shuffle it already because I can't shuffle it with only one hand. Um, but I'm going to cut it in front of you. I'm going to at least try to do that, okay? Uh, because one should ideally shuffle the deck always um, in front of the viewers or, you know, the querent or client. But um, in this case, I have no idea how to do that, but I'm going to at least cut it in front of you, okay? There you are. <laughs> Why am I cutting this deck for? What am I going to read on? Well, you've seen it on the thumbnail already. Um, I just watched this crime um, thing on Netflix, <clears throat> this docu-series about um, the murder of a woman, a French woman in the 90s, I believe in 1996, but to correct me if I'm wrong, called uh, Sophie Toscane du Plantier. Um, and um, there is a huge suspect for the people who have watched the documentary already. I'm going to give now a spoiler for the ones who haven't, okay? For the ones who haven't watched it, this is a spoiler, so you can feel free to move on to the next video if you're not into getting the spoiler. For the ones of you who have watched it, as we know, the biggest suspect in the case is a man, an Englishman called um, Ian Bailey. So this crime happened in Cork. Um, apparently this French woman, again for the ones who haven't watched the show, was at the time married uh, to this um, big shot uh, French um, producer, cinema, movie producer. Um, and um, it was quite a shock for everybody at the time, not so much because of who she was, because in Cork, I don't know, I don't think people knew who she was in West Cork, uh, but because nothing, no crime like this had ever happened in West Cork um, before. Uh, and this was a very small community, a community based of locals, um, a lot of locals who had been living in Cork, traditionally living in Cork for generations and also many expats. Uh, apparently West Cork in the late 90s was considered a bit of an expat hub as well. So both people, both types of people lived very safely in this community. And after that, this caused, um, you know, a lot of upset for the natural reasons, but also for the fact that people obviously didn't feel as safe anymore after this happened. So let's try and grab a feel for whether Ian Bailey has, has indeed as all the circumstantial evidence seems to indicate, murdered Sophie Toscane du Plantier. Uh, now there is no actual physical evidence um, that he's done it, but as I'm as I've just told you, there's a lot of circumstantial evidence uh, and a lot of witnesses, um, including his own partner, who can't who cannot give him an alibi and who does confirm that he, he left. Uh, the house, he left the bed and he left the house for a few hours in the evening of the murder. There are so many details about this case, guys, but I'm not going to get into it now. I'm j I just want to know point blank if this guy did it or not. Okay, so for the situation, we're getting the Ace of Pentacles reversed. The Ace of Pentacles is a card for grounding, for one feeling grounded in a situation. Uh, it's also a card usually for, for for prosperity, for financial prosperity, with the Ace of Pentacles reversed. It's the um, opposite of prosperity. We're talking about lack, as in extreme lack, okay? The challenge crossing it, crossing this extreme lack, we have the justice card, so lack of justice. Justice is not being made to Sophie. Um, justice is not being made to Sophie. And we know that much already. Let's try and grab more information now. The Three of Cups for the beliefs around this situation. Hmm. The Two of Cups is a romance card. So it almost seems to me like whoever did it had feelings for this woman or some kind of fixation or obsession. Because why is it not simply love? I would I wouldn't say because usually two of cups is a card for love. Because it's uh 
right on top of a pentacle reversal. It's right on top of a reversal. So it's, it becomes ill-dignified. It's out of balance, it is to have cups. So it's more of a fixation. So whomever did this kind of had a romantic, a romantic um, inclination towards her. But that wasn't corresponded. We're talking about, we're asking about Ian. So this tells me that Ian uh, kind of held a candle for her. Ian held a candle for her. Ian held a, can a candle for her. The root of the issue, for the root of the issue, we have the Queen of Swords. Hmm. A woman or someone with the energy of a reckless, reckless kind of, uh, she can be cruel uh, under the justice uh, as a challenge because the, the, the justice card is showing up as the challenge. So there's no justice being made to it because of this woman who is helping hide something, I think. There's someone who is kind of, hmm. Let me see. Let me let me read more into this. See if I can make better sense of this. A friendship getting thwarted. So Ian presented himself as a friend to this woman in the past. But something happened and I get a feeling with the sun reversed, I get um I get a feel for um I get a feeling for rejection. He might have presented himself as a friend to her. Also the sun card reverse could be a fake friendship, a fake friend, someone presenting themselves as a friend to you and then you know not being a friend, fake friendship. Near future also reversed. Wow, okay, so we have the two of swords. So the Two of Swords is someone not wanting to see something. Literally, you see this woman not wanting to see the, the wolf. The wolf that is right behind her back. She doesn't want to see. She doesn't want to know. She's defensive. But this card is reversed. I feel like... Um, okay, because what I did with this Celtic Cross is that I put all of the cards in the past position. So that we could have a vibe for what happened back then. I communicated this to my deck Okay, at the time. So what I'm getting here, guys, is that like this, the cards are telling us a story. So hmm, he presented himself. He had roman a romantic interest in her with that two of cups. He presented himself as a friend, but he was kind of rejected. She might have told him, oh, no, thanks. Like, you know, you don't have to help me with the bags or whatever. Uh, and with the this card here reversed, it tells me that she let off her guard with him. She was guarded with him. She wasn't interested in that so-called friendship that he was trying to have with her. Uh, but at one point, uh, also we had a partner at the time, but she wasn't interested in him. Um, and she was guarded. She would see him as this wolf and she was guarded. She wasn't interested. However, she let off the guard at one point. She let off the guard. I feel like uh, she would... This kind of has a vibe to me of she saw him as a bit of an idiot, really. She didn't think she would have to be afraid of him. She, she simply just didn't like him, didn't like his vibe, didn't want this so-called friendship. That he was trying to offer, but which he, she could see came with some sort of agenda. Ian sees himself as a bit of a victim. Um, I think there's something wrong with it. I mean, anyone who's watched the documentary will will say there's something. There's obviously a lot wrong with him. I mean, if he isn't a murderer, he is at least someone who is incredibly off. And that's me trying to be kind and trying not to call him names. Uh, but he sees himself as someone who is a bit of a victim. Uh, someone who needs help getting out of this situation. And because if you watch the documentary, the French government in between has sent like a couple of, like two or three mandates already um, for this guy. And uh, at one point they decided to trial him, even though they could not get the Republic of Ireland to send him to France. They decided to trial him uh, with him not being in France anyway. 
And they did convict him. Uh, I think in 2015, if I'm not mistaken, the French government convicted him to 20 something odd years in prison. Uh, but because, uh, you know, Ireland is protecting him for some reason, and I don't know why, uh, they'll never send him to France. It's like they, they don't send him to France, so he can't go to France to pay for his crimes, right? Um, so he feels himself like a victim. He feels like he's getting persecuted and that he's needing, uh, he needs help. I also sense that he did start by getting the help of some woman. Probably his partner might have helped him in the beginning, but then she turned against him. Probably because she understood that the, he was into, you know, Sophie. Uh, the Ten of Cups reversed... Oh yeah, the destruction of a family, Sophie's family, Sophie who has a son and who had a husband at the time and, you know, parents and a, a brother and it's it, this caused the complete destruction of Sophie's family. The Page of Pentacles, this guy is a, just a page, he, meaning that he has the maturity of a child. This is not an evolved or sophisticated individual whatsoever, which I find hilarious since she was the one, he was the one during the documentary who would speak of the Irish as being unsophisticated compared to an educated Englishman like me, and I'm quoting that. Uh, but he's seriously childish. He's showing up as someone who has the mentality of a child. And not only that, this page of pentacles just showed reversed, <laughs> okay? So this is reckless. Usually a page, of, a page of pentacles is a good child, grounded, well-behaved, responsible, um, reversed it's a reckless kid so this guy has the mind the mentality of a reckless child and thus far i'm getting a vibe that he did it out of recklessness i'm getting a vibe that yes he did do it and it was out of complete recklessness i feel like he didn't leave the house counting on murdering this woman but i'm getting rejection which infuriated him uh and um made him reckless in his reaction to the rejection. I mean, males are not used to getting rejected, are they, uh, ladies and gentlemen? You know what I'm talking about, you're not. Us women, we get rejected our whole, our whole lives, our entire lives left, left in front, so we have enough maturity to deal with it. Well, most of us anyway, you know, a, f a fair bit. Mo most of us, but males generally are not known for being able to handle rejection all too well, especially Southern uh, males, right, okay. so. The Six of Wands, <sighs> reversed. Too many reversals in this reading for me not to say that, uh, you know, allegedly and for entertainment purposes only, he did it. Six of Wands is one standing up for their truth, standing up against the odds and against everybody whilst holding the truth. This woman, people are trying to target her, but she's confident in knowing that she holds the truth, she holds the upper ground, and therefore she will prevail. Reversed, however, is someone getting attacked from all quadrants because they do, uh, they are indeed guilty of something. Because they are indeed guilty of something. And I all, I'm also getting a vibe of soon enough, for some reason, I feel like he's going to lose his upper hand and fall off this pedestal as well of they can't touch me. The French can't touch me. I feel like he's going to lose, it's probably because of the Netflix documentary that I feel like he's going to lose the upper hand. Um, let me just take it further out just for with another couple of cards. Chariot reversed. Wow, so many reversals. And the magician reversed. Yes, he's going to lose his powers of maneuvering and manipulation. I mean, the Irish authorities, I don't understand why is it that the Republic of Ireland won't just dispatch him to France. He's not even Irish, he's English. Um, is you know the, the the Republic of Ireland is not even British. He is British unless he's become Ar Irish as well. In the meantime, because he's been living in Ireland for so long, but I don't get it because the Irish authorities themselves are like three hundred percent positive that it was him. Uh, so I don't understand why he's getting protected by Ireland. Uh, the chariot reversed tells me, however, that he's still not going to travel. He's not going to go to France. Um, Ireland is not going to hand him to France. Uh, they're sticking to that. But the magician reversed means that he's going to get 
um that is going to get that that something the veil will fall and people will kind of see that it was him uh with the ace of wands a lot of energy around this case it feels like because of the documentary the case will now return it will it, it's never been closed uh in france uh but i feel like it may be reopened in ireland as well the death card reversed wow uh, the death card reverse is pretty much a confirmation that it will become very clear that he did it. Uh, death card reversed could be a, something like murder. So if we needed, oh, the devil. The devil is the card at the bottom of the deck. I could not make this up. This is a guy who is seriously, he has seriously mental issues and mental problems. He's completely caged by mental problems. Um, he's like... Um, I would even think of possession, attachments to this person. He has attachments as well. Uh, that's why he's so inco incoherent. And I mean, his energy is really like, really puts you off um, everything about him. So this reading is telling, is, this reading is uh, a, a yes for all, um, you know, for allegedly and for entertainment purposes, this reading tells us that um, he did do it. Um, guys, I'm going to leave it at this because I don't even like the energy surrounding it. Uh, all I can tell you is that even before the reading, I had to meditate after watching the documentary as I usually do. So I wouldn't be biased while reading. And I mean, you can see the reading, you can see the cards. I'm not making anything up. Death, reversed, murder, um, devil, attachment, uh, darkness, uh, someone who is controlling, someone who does not handle rejection properly because he's surrounded, completely surrounded by demons. Um, and, um, and, you know, devil is all about ego as well, the devil energy. So yeah, guys, this has been the reading. Um, and, uh, next time I see you, I'll be home. I'll be back home. I wasn't even going to read anymore, as you know, because I'm literally like two days away from leaving and I've got nothing. I don't have anything to, you know, support my phone with. I've got nothing as you can see, but after having watched this, I literally had like to, you know, read on it, um, as soon as so allegedly and for all entertainment purposes only my cards tell me that ian bailey did murder um sophie toscan du plantier um this gorgeous beautiful um french lady anyway uh may she rest in peace uh, i hope she's in peace and uh i'm sending her family all my best and know that things will that this documentary will help propel things and that things aren't over. I get a feeling that this case might, be, might get reopened in Ireland after this. And um, also, if you are people of faith, you will know that if he doesn't um, come across his karma in this lifetime, we actually have to feel for him because he's already in the hell of his own choosing when he let these attachments and this energy of darkness surround him. He's already in hell and uh, it's not going to be getting any better for him anytime soon because he hasn't yet even began to regain a consciousness and understand the, the harm that he has caused, not just to Sophie, but to the people around him and to her family most of all, okay? So anyway, everyone, I'll see you on the other side back home in Portugal. Yay, I cannot wait. See you. Bye. Oh, leave us a comment and do like, subscribe and share. Um, I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Guys, I'm going to have to add a short addendum to this because in the meantime, I've also given myself some time to let the reading sit, um, as I usually call it. And I've come to understand something else. Um, I feel like that Queen of Swords might have also been speaking for Sophie herself. I feel like... Um, in the midst of this fight, while he was getting rejected, by while he was making some silly, stupid advance at her and was getting rejected, I feel like she was stern and firm with him, actually. Um, I feel like the second he became forward, she became really stern with him. Uh, that's the Queen of Swords, someone who is very direct spoken and who can be who can lack caution with her words because to be in all fairness it seems to me like she used the words that she had to use with this person if he was getting aggressive in his advances and I feel like in the midst of it she said something she might have said something that triggered him I can see them fighting and I can see her telling him something that 
uh, triggered his demons. So other than the rejection itself, I do see something. I do sense um, sense her. I can see her being that Queen of Swords and telling him straight up uh, how she felt about him. You know, uh, you I, I I can think of words like revolting. You know, the words that she might have used. I mean, because this was a married guy um, also. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's the the one thing I wanted to add that I had that feeling um, immediately after. Um, immediately after leaving the reading it came to me and i saw her i could see her screaming things at him and whatever it is that she might have said in reaction to his aggressiveness um i feel like really 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 triggered his demons um and uh the rest is history right so yeah i mean again allegedly and for all entertainment purposes these cards and the more i sit with reading the more i can tell that uh, this guy, um, Ian, that he did do it, you know, allegedly and for all entertainment purposes. Anyway, so that's that, guys. Um, and um, have a great one. I'll see you on the other side of my country relocation. And I'm sending everybody much love and much light and much clarity. And again, I send Sophie's uh, family my uttermost condolences and compassion. Um, and uh, know that she is with you. Um, and uh, that again whatever this guy's karma doesn't bring to his table now will come to him eventually I mean as I told you he's already in the hell of his own making he has been for, for all these for all these years um, so if anything just you know send him prayers and light know that Sophie um, is well and that's all that matters anyway guys see you on the other side bye mm -hmm.